This week's Porsche and Mishpat team ch- changes the whole narrative and how it has progressed since the beginning of the book of Exodus. We now transform the focus of the Torah from the story of the people of Israel, from their history from Adam and Eve all the way through Moses, to the dr- drama of leaving Egypt to being encamped at Mount Sinai and receiving God's revelation, to now transforming into the book that we would generally identify the Torah as, which is the book of law and instruction, what exactly the word Torah means. And so we need to question why the sudden shift. If we are still in the mindset of this being a narrative, then we ask the question, are the people really ready to hear all of these laws? Are they really ready to accept the idea that they are about to transform themselves from a ragtag group of slaves, people connected to each, to each other by family ties, into a nation state? Are they really in the mindset to be able to do that? And if not, then we need to really understand that the laws presented in Mishpatim and what will follow in the rest of the Torah is really the setting the stage for the people to provide a foundation to be able to set up the nation at that future time. We, as the reader, need to understand the Torah both as a family story and also as the book that contains the values and laws by which we conduct our lives. And so we also need to make that switch in our own minds as we, the reader, uh, confront the story once again. Though we are enthralled with the narrative, though we uh, engage with God as the miracle worker, we also as this Torah portion Mishpatim points out to us, we need to engage God all the time in every single thing we do to elevate each moment of our lives into a potential moment of spirituality. Shabbat Shalom.